Greetings and salutations, everyone. My name is Featherhoof, and today we're playing a little indie game called Her Story. This is an FMV murder mystery game. Uh, it came uh, recommended to me by a very discerning source. Uh, the reviews I saw, some of them were very bad, some of them were really praising the game. It looks very interesting. I tried to do a little bit of research. Uh, I didn't want to do too much research as it's supposed to be a murder mystery. Don't want to know the answers. Don't want to solve it right off the bat. So we're going to jump right in, figure this story out, and see what's going on. Apparently, the only things I know about it is it stars a woman, and there's a murder. So we're going to figure this out. Okay, and this is this is the game right here. This is the whole thing from all the screenshots shot I've seen. It's just this. Uh, I've got my notebook sitting next to me. I've got a pen in hand because I hear you're supposed to really take notes because this is supposed to get a little confusing. I've right, got to read me. Introduction to the Logic Database. Computer technology is the backbone of modern police work. The Logic Database is one of the many continuing efforts to to digitize our workflow and preserve evidence in a manner which will allow you to work more efficiently. In the coming years, the computer will continue to be most valuable item in your crime-fighting toolkit. This database contains footage transferred from the existent, existing homicide and serious crime tape archive at Portsmouth. Or Portsmouth? I think it's Portsmouth. It has been automatically sorted using the ASR technology. Each statement made by the interview participants is stored separately so they can be tagged for submission to court. The audio has been digitally steno stenographed and the content of the testimony is attached to each clip. To retrieve a clip, type in a word, e.g. robbery, into the search field. Click search and the database will return all clips in which the speaker uses the word. The nar narrow a search, we use multiple words. If you are working from a printed transcript, you can even be more precise. Use invent comma inverted commas to search for an exact match against the entire statement. To store a clip for later references, click Add to Session, and you can add your own user tags. Okay. Really read me. Hey, there's the, here's the database. I filed a Freedom of Information form to get you, you guest access. Everything seems to work. They transferred the videos off the original tapes in 1999 and the Y2K thing hit. What do you mean the Y2K thing hit? I don't remember the Y2K thing hitting anything. I mean, I was there. I really don't remember it screwing with anything. At least nothing I had. <sighs> really? Anyway, I guess it, it hurt something in this world. And they got mothballed. No one has touched them since. I couldn't find the server with the detective's footage on. Possibly those tapes got damaged when the old archives were flooded in 97. I figured this would be enough. Take your time. SB. SB? What? Who's SB? Is it... Super Bitch? Uh, Stan Bush? Who? Who is SB? Maybe we'll find out. Oh, we can move things around. I've got a clock. It's June 16th, 2015. It is not. Ooh, database checker. What's this? It's all red. It's nothing. Okay. Ooh, we got something in here. Hack.info. In a mirror game. Okay, we'll play with those later. Let's, let's try the game out. Start with murder. Okay, we'll start with murder. Okay. Let's see, this is you June 27th. I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? Okay, so on June 27th, 94, she found out it was a murder. That's when they, I guess they, dis, you know, discerned it was a murder. Okay, now we're going to July 1st. Yeah, that's me. February, and that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Oh, okay, February. Something happened in February. February. Get it. All right. So this is July 3rd. Okay, we're jumping ahead again. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. Okay. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Please. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. Stories, okay. That's not, that's... 
This game, this is a game about keywords, stories. That sounds significant. But let's find out who Simon was. Simon. Sixty-one entries. Okay. All right, Simon. Who are you? Simon. Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work: mirror making, feature windows, artistic things, really beautiful things. Okay, so from what it looks like, she's report that that must be the first time she came to report him missing on June 18th. Okay, June 18th. All right, same same day. Um, Simon is six foot, darkish blonde hair, average build. Um, he's clean shaven. <laughs> if his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, and bought a photo. They said a spring photo. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. It's the best one I have. It's the Rock. Same day. Okay. The Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. The Rock. There's Don't some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with. And the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. We also got a Peter and a Helen. Let's see. The Rock, Peter, and Helen. All right. Yes. There's an Amstrad one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games. You know, trying to uh, save the princess. That kind of thing. Amstrad. That sounds important. I don't know what an Amstrad is, but... All right, same day still. Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Someone must have done something to him, or there must have been some kind of accident. So what do we do next? Let's see. Let's find out what happened in February. Wait, first, she mentioned an accident. I want to see what happened. What, if there was an accident. Maybe they came... Oh! Something happened June 3rd. There was an accident. Um, when I was eight, Mother died. She slipped down the stairs. It was an accident. I had read a diary oh, wrong accident. I knew she wasn't my real mother. So I burned the diary that day, and I left. Walked out. And across the street. That's a weird thing to do. Let's go back to February. See what happened February. Oh, here we go. February. Well, I don't know. I probably had to pop out and get something. That's why I was speeding. And that wouldn't have been noted on my timesheet. But I really can't remember back to February. She was speeding. Aha! You must be desperate for leads if you're getting hung up over six month old speeding tickets. Oh. Okay, that led nowhere. All right, let's go back to find out about her mother. She. Is there something in each of these videos that points you in a direction they want you to go? I think that had some, that, that was important in some way. Okay. Oh, June 27th. There's a girl, and she's staring out of the window. She's sad. Oh, she's sad. She's trapped. She's here. She's looking out the window because her mother won't let her out. <gasps> How dare she? Same day, okay. Oh, same, same picture. It's right. Rapunzel. The story starts when she's born. Mother Gothel, a witch takes Rapunzel from her parents and keeps her locked up in this tower. <gasps> Rapunzel gets pregnant by the prince. Uh oh. Mother Gothel is furious, so she cuts off her hair and throws it. Actually, her hair's already short here, so that's already happened. But so she throws her into the wilderness and Rapunzel is reunited with the prince who's blind. But she kills him with her tears and so 
It's a happy ending. Is that too much? What does this have to do with mother? I don't even. Oh, because she said the word hell. I would have been a good mother. I was young, but I would have been a good mother. This is June 30th now. She was a girl, by the way, the baby. But she's actually wearing a short sleeve shirt for once. We going to call she doesn't her wear Sarah. just business suits. <laughs> Simon wanted to call her Ava after his nana, but I didn't want her to have a symmetrical name. Why? What's wrong with symmetrical names? Oh, now we're back to June 3rd. My mother called me Eve. Eve! Okay, her name's Eve. Okay. Well, she wasn't my real mother, but she raised me. Do you want to hear the story? Yes, please. It's a real life fairy tale. But what it. Okay, let's follow up on Eve. That was that was a bit of a shocker there. Not a shocker, but I mean, at least I have a feeling that was specifically put in there. Well, my friend Eve. Well, you said her name was Eve. from when I was a kid, and she was always more popular with the boys, and I used to hate her for it. I mean, really hate her sometimes. Ooh. Yes. We'd fight. We fought on the beach once and I held Eve's head underwater. That sounds weird. Around. But isn't that your name? Under the beach and I held her head under and I kept it under. Or are they, are they interviewing different people? And for a moment. And they have the same voice though. I just wanted to kill her and watch her drown. Well, these are different days. So, they, but the thing is, what the one from June third? She said her name was e her mother called her Eve. Made up afterwards. It was a love-hate relationship. With yourself? A police station. Yeah. When I was young, we ran away on my birthday. Bob Dylan was playing in London and we thought we could break into his tour bus and have him take us with him. The taxi driver we paid to drop us off. I mean, we'd save money, pinched a bit here and there to pay for the fare. He was suspicious because we were so young, so he told the police. That bastard! So they came and picked us up and took me back to Portsmouth. My mum picked me up in the station. But I blamed everything on my friend Eve. My parents let me off. Huh. Your friend Eve. I'm confused. Hannah. 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 Who's Hannah? What are you doing talking about Eve? Oh, so you're Hannah. Oh, so this is a different person. The hell was that? Morse code? Holy shit, that is Morse code. I bet you that's Morse code. Oh, oh. Okay. okay, Hannah and Morse code. I'm gonna try Morse code. That, that was too suspicious. Did she not know she's being recorded? Morse code. Okay, what about code? Ah, code. Oh, this is several days later. This is June 3rd, July 3rd again. When we went together, we'd send secret messages by tapping out a code that we'd learn from a book. The not code. Something prisoners of war would use. We'd tap them out on radiator pipes or the attic floor. Sounds like a song. Dad thought we had mice. But I couldn't find any. Got to cat anyway. So was she like a prisoner in a house or something? 
Is that why those two hate each other? Wait, I, I'm gonna add. Hold on. That looks important, so I'm gonna add that to my session. I'm gonna go back. What, what did I type? It's Eve. Yes, there we go. Add that to session. That's important. Now, I wanna see who this Hannah is. So, wait. Who. All right, Hannah. Okay. My name is Hannah. H A N N A H. It's Palindre. It reads the same backwards as forwards. It doesn't work if you mirror it, though. It's not quite symmetrical, but well, we get the idea. Sorry. Hannah Smith, I live at 31 Gladstone Street. Okay, do you remember that? 31 Gladstone Street. Yes. My name is Hannah Smith. Oh. Shit. Sorry. What are you sorry about? She has a, oh, that's a, lie, that's a lie detector, isn't it? We're gonna try that next lie detector. Across the road, where my parents first lived there, was a midwife called Florence. When Hannah was born, I was born at the same time. Oh, they're the twins! Was there to help. I'd been throttled by the cord, probably wrapped around my neck by Hannah. The midwife told my mother I was dead. But I wasn't. She wrote all this stuff in a diary. Amazing what people will admit to on paper. Oh, what the fuck was that? Okay, Florence, I gotta remember Florence. Mm. She recognized me from the window. She told me to come inside and she hid me. They had made the attic into a place where Hannah could play. There was a dollhouse. She hid me up there. Oh, that's why they were typing out no messages. She was hidden in the attic. attic. It was her place. Oh, okay, okay. That's important, I think. Which one was this one? No. Lie detector, yep. Yeah. Lie detector. Yes. I'll take a lie detector test. Well, how thoughtful of you. I've never taken a lie detector test before. Does it really work? Yeah, some people think so. Some people say they're BS, though. My name? That was the only question I failed. <laughs> the lie detector works. Oh, and she said her name was Hannah? So does that mean that's Eve? So that's Eve. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see, what, what happened? Uh, she was hidden in the attic. I bet that's important. I'll bet you dimes to donuts that was important. Yes. I inherited it from my parents so it made sense to move back. Me and Simon. That like going back to old ways before the pregnancy. Reminded me of being a girl. A dollhouse in the attic. Old things. We didn't sleep in my parents' bedroom for a long time. We decorated it as soon as we moved in, but it was another year before we started sleeping there. That's weird. Yes. I read a lot as a child and watched lots of TV. Then the doll's house we had, we still have in the attic. It's kind of a fairy castle. We used to play out there and make up our own stories. Stories. I bet that's the key word, stories. Could the hairs have come from somewhere else? I mean, could they... We have a lot of dolls in the attic. There's a Rapunzel doll with long blonde hair. Could they have come from there? Huh. So it's Ju July 3rd was the, f is the furthest sure to go. I'm not sure where the dollhouse came from. I don't know if it was given to them or they inherited it. I mean, they wouldn't have had the money to buy it was so huge. It must have been taken up to the attic in parts and then reassembled up there. It's a beautiful thing. 
wallpaper to scale, little furniture, the lights work, mirrors, beds, big duvets and pillows. We spent hours and hours playing it, invented all these characters and families who lived there. We wrote paperwork for them all, passports, diaries, we gave them all really elaborate stories. Jesus. I used to play Once, pretend as a kid, but not that far. And God. both got trapped in there. We'd left a light on. It was making the most horrendous noise. We tried to kill it, but it was tough. We ended up crushing it under a copy of the Arabian Nights. Damn. Okay, stories and the dollhouse. Let's, let's see what stories tell us. Okay. Sounds weird. I'm mean, not great at making up stories. But you just said... Oh, this is back on June 27th. In, in July 3rd, she said that the two of them would make up all these... Uh, make up all stories all the time. Oh, somebody's lying. Fairy tales. Stories about lost princesses, evil witches, magical mirrors, and lost children. So you see, even before I knew the truth, I'd found it in those stories. Truth? What's the truth? No. It was just me and her. It was the name they were going to call their first child. They talked about it and were going to try when it came back. Florence's family had a history of first-born girls, so they were convinced it was going to be a girl. It's hard to know if this is all true. These are stories I remember that I read when I was a child. Maybe I misread, maybe I misunderstood. Sometimes it's hard to remember what happened last week. She looks very disheveled on July 3rd. Compared to the other ones here. The, the dollhouse. That's the other one I want to try. Dollhouse. It's all the same. Oh, we got a new one. Here we go. The legal stuff was completed very quickly. Hand me back in with Simon. Okay, so this is... Oh! She says leave. she lied on the... She detected her name, so this must be Eve. Modernized wallpaper curtains. Hannah insists the attic we left as it was. Dollhouse and all. Simon never went up there. Okay. How about... Let's try it. Hannah and Eve. Mum and Dad never had any reason to notice. They were always busy. If Hannah was eating a lot, they didn't mind. And she didn't put on any weight. That girl has a healthy appetite. Now, if they heard us talking in the attic, they just thought Oh, this is when she was hiding in the games, attic. And that Eve was our imaginary friend. <laughs> Once, she was already up and dressed okay. and ready to go to school and I snuck down for a piss. Mum saw me in my underwear, she went mad. Get dressed this instant. So I ducked into our bedroom, <laughs> and seconds later, out came Hannah, dressed and ready. Mum was amazed. Okay, I think I'm missing a piece of the puzzle, because I remember she saying her mom died in an accident, and then she went across the street. And then that must have been where, I think she said, what was it? Across the street lived a girl named Hannah. So I guess after her mom died, the handmaid, she went back and, and uh, lived in the attic. But I guess the parents didn't know? Okay, that's weird. Hold on. Hannah and Simon. Differences? She's a better driver than me. She passed the test for us. I tried to take it and nearly crash the car. <laughs> Learned that you can't rely on confidence to get you through everything. Driving is like the easiest thing in the universe. Mm. She is the shy one. She was especially shy around boys. If Hannah liked a boy, I would have to pursue him. It was that way with Carl. 
I met him first. And she had such a crush. Carl. Keyword to everybody, Carl. Virginity after a night that his band had played at. It got difficult. And I was with Carl, we would have sex, but... Ah, see, it was repeated. Let him see she Carl was important. She had lots of excuses. After a while, we decided that I should take Hannah's virginity. It's not that different to a bruise, pulling a tooth, a graze. Really? We used a hairbrush. Whoa! After Whoa. that, it could turns, though, I was always the one who seduced the boys. Until Simon. Whoa! TMI, I think. Hannah was so smitten with Simon. She started getting jealous. Didn't want to share. <gasps> Even the first date. We went to see Tom Cruise at the old Odeon. We both went. Kept changing places in the toilet. Ah. We only had one best dress, so we had to keep swapping clothes. Must have thought we had terrible bladder problems. The next date, it was my turn. Um, at the end, I let him kiss me. But that was it. We didn't want another car on our hands, and the Ouija board had said to hold back. After oh, that, it what was happened? Hannah's turn, and she slept with him. Broke the rules. <gasps> Deliberately broke the rules. That B word. She wanted to be the first to sleep with him. <laughs> I mean, that's when she got pregnant. From that one time. Oh, 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 oh. who was that? No. Zolan, you there? Okay, yes, this is all consecutive, I think. Wedding. After the wedding. Hannah moved in with his parents. There was no way I could follow. So we were separated again. Again? I stayed in the attic. It was hard. It was like I suddenly didn't exist. I would sneak out, but in case anyone recognised me, I started wearing a wig. Hannah and I would meet up in the park. I was trying to get pregnant. But I couldn't. I mean, I couldn't do it with anyone we knew, so oh, it was... Oh, so they would be the same. So she could go back with them. Drug guys I'd met in clubs, in parks, and alleyways. I was 17. But what... I felt like I was... If I was I'm missing something, what does this all have to do with the murder? They, was Simon, Simon was murdered, was. right? Didn't they say that already? I had to stop when one of the guys gave me an STD. Oh! I guess what you get for trying too hard there. Get when pregnant. I got up, it was disturbing. For the first time, my reflection, she didn't look like me. She was fatter, flushed. If anything, I was getting skinnier. Ooh. Must be that, that, ter- that little STD sometimes. there. We talked about what to do. Was it time to become our own people? And that seemed like the right thing to do, but neither of us wanted it. We agreed that her and Simon would get their own place as soon as possible, and then I could move in. And that was the plan. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, what was that? Okay, tell you what, though. I'm probably going to have to end this video here. This is going a little long. We're going to find out about Carl next. But as for this video, I'm going to have to end it here. So if you liked it, let me know with a like, comment, subscribe, or you can click on the annotations for other videos I've done. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.